Hi everybody. I thought it would be a great idea to talk a little bit about measures of concentration. This was our lesson on Friday, but lots of us weren't there, and I think even the ones who were, we were a little bit distracted by what was going on around us in the world, so I thought maybe we should do a recap. So when we're talking about measures of concentration, what we're really talking about is molarity. Molarity is the measure of the number of moles of solute in one liter of solution, and that one liter of solution part is really important. This is another one of those times where our units are gonna be restricted because we have to use liters here. Just like when we're doing gas laws, we have to use Kelvin for our temperatures. So that is absolutely required. Now the formula for this is on table T. I encourage you to always have your reference table available when we go through our video lessons. And the formula is moles of solute um, divided by liters of solution will give us our molarity. Now there is another measure of concentration you might see in some texts called molality, um, but here for our purposes we are only going to be using molarity. Now this means that a one molar solution would equal one mole of solute dissolved in exactly one liter of solution. So I'm going to give you kind of a silly way to think about this. I want you to imagine that I have a fish tank and that fish tank is exactly 1000 milliliters. Now the thing to remember is if we want to convert from milliliters to liters, we have our decimal, we move one spot, for every spot we're moving, that means that 1,000 milliliters would equal one liter, okay? Now, with that being said, we've got our one liter fish tank, and in our one liter fish tank, we've got one fish. So that would be a concentration of one fish per liter. Now, I'm gonna put a second fish in our tank, Right now our concentration is one fish R. If I add a second fish, now our concentration would be two fish per liter. That would be the equivalent to two fish R's. Now, I'm gonna take a second fish tank. Evidently, I really like fish. And into that fish tank, I'm going to put four fish. So in this case, I've got four fish per liter. This tank is also 1,000 milliliters, which means my concentration now would be four divided by one liter. That would give me a four fish R solution. Now I'm gonna take this up a little bit bigger and I'm gonna get an even larger tank. This tank is 5,000 milliliters and no, I'm not gonna make you count all the fish. I've got 20 fish in my tank. So if I have 5,000 milliliters, that is equivalent to one liter, whoops, five, liters, whoops, sorry about that. So it would be 20 divided by five, and that would give us a concentration of four fish R's, which means that our two tanks here are essentially the same concentration. Now you might say, but the one on the right is just so much bigger. Well, that's true, but I kept the concentration the same by adding more fish. Now, if I were to move on, and convert this into molarity, well, here we go. This is our moles per, per volume. And no, those are not sea lions. Those are supposed to be moles. Don't judge me. Now, I've got my one molar solution with two moles would be two molar, four moles would be four molar, and here, because our tank is five times larger, 20 moles is still four molar. Now we can get crazy and make a really concentrated solution and have some situation where we've got really tiny tank, this one's 250 milliliters, which would be 0.25 liters, and we could put eight moles in it. What would our concentration here be? Take a second, calculate it. Well, that would be eight divided by 0.25, so that's going to give us a 32 molar solution. So let's look at applying this to a chemistry problem. I want you to calculate the molarity of a solution containing 0.2 moles of sugar 
dissolved in 0.1 liters of solution. So if we remember, our equation is moles equals, or sorry, molarity equals moles over liters, then that means our molarity is 0.2 moles over 0.1 liters of solution. And this would give us a molarity of what? That would give us a molarity of 2. And thus we would say this is a 2 molar solution. Now, let's move on to another problem. How many moles of solute are there in 200 liters of a 5 molar hydrochloric acid solution? Now, we're no longer solving for molarity. Here, you're solving for moles. The equation we use is still the same. Molarity equals moles over liters. But I would like you to take a moment and see if you can calculate this. Go ahead, pause the video. So if you do this correctly, you will get 5 molar solution equals x moles over 200 liters. We would essentially cross multiply to solve here. So it would be 5 molar times 200 liters equals x number of moles So our moles equals 1,000. In our next segment, I'll show you how to go from grams um, to molarity, which just adds another step, but it's one you already know. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me on Remind.